Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer Podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer to Know Your Life Purpose by Noel Kirchner Now may the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Hebrews 13, 20, 21. The first step to discovering our purpose is surrender. This is a counterintuitive step given the nature of most self-help literature today. We want to do something to make something happen. But the spiritual path differs from this perspective. Vocation and life coaching experts Robert and Kim Boyle write, Your life is not something you own. You did not create it, and it's not for you to tell it, or God, what it should be. You may, however, gratefully and humbly awaken to your life, discover its purpose, and manifest it in the world. To do so, we have to tune ourselves to the voice within and to our Creator. The Bible says that our Creator formed us with purpose and intention. If you're a parent, you've probably seen hard proof of this. Children can express tendencies and personalities that are unique to them instead of cultivated by you. We can raise each of our children the same way, and yet they can turn out so differently. Psalm 139 confirms this by testifying that our Creator God is at work, forming us with a plan before birth. Christian author Parker Palmer realized this not as a parent, but as a grandfather. He marveled at the unique tendencies of his granddaughter from birth, and decided to start recording them in the form of a letter. Parker had experienced depression in his own life before reconnecting with his purpose, and he didn't want the same thing to happen to his granddaughter. In his book, Let Your Life Speak, Listening for the Voice of Vocation, he explains, When my granddaughter reaches her late teens or early twenties, I'll make sure that my letter finds its way to her, with a preface something like this. Here is a sketch of who you were from your earliest days in the world. It's not a definitive picture, only you can draw that, but it was sketched by a person who loves you very much. Perhaps these notes will help you do sooner something your grandfather did only later. Remember who you were when you first arrived and reclaim the gift of true self. Whether it's a rediscovery or kind of evolution, the spiritual life requires the time to discern and surrender when it comes to living our purpose. Let's pray now for a heart of surrender. Lord, I surrender my life to you. I want to do something to make something happen all on my own strength, but I know without you, I can do nothing. I know my life is not my own. It's yours to work through me. Lord, I am grateful for this life you've given me. You've blessed me with different gifts and talents. Help me understand how to cultivate those things to bring glory to your great name. Amen. Amen.